Hi, good morning. Can you hear me, guys? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. How's everyone doing? Did you guys go through what we did last uh, yesterday? And uh, did you read a couple of pages more? Any questions, queries, concerns so far before we begin? All good. Uh, yes, I'm good. <clears throat> All good. Okay. So moving along. We were at we did rules of conduct. We did integrity, objectivity, confidentiality, competency. For each of these, we figured out. Uh, we basically discussed certain situations, right? To which would indicate that okay, these rules have been broken. Yeah, you guys got those exa uh, examples, right? Made a note of it. Hopefully. Okay, so now we are looking at um, rules of conduct integrity, okay. So for integrity, internal auditors should do what? They shall perform the work with honesty, diligence and responsibility, shall observe the law and make disclosures expected by the law, right? Shall not be part of anything illegal. We discussed all of that. Uh, yesterday. Now, what is the guidance that has been provided on integrity? So, integrity, first of all, they've started by defining integrity. It is the foundation of the other three principles in the IIA Code of Ethics. So, if you look at the IIA Code of Ethics, the other principles are what? Three principles are competency, objectivity, and confidentiality. So, there are four things. I mean, there are four principles, confidentiality, competency, objectivity, and integrity. Integrity forms the base. Okay. So think of it like a cube. So in that cube, the bottom foundation is your integrity. Um, what is the CA's um, responsibility for implementing integrity? Right. How can the CA implement it, first of all, and how can he demonstrate that, yes, we are uh, we are people of integrity, right? This department is uh, a function of, or this department uh, behaves with a lot of integrity. How can that person, how can the CA demonstrate that? So for that, the CA needs to lead by example. What do you mean by leading by example? means showing people what they preach. If I tell you that be truthful, be on time, but I'm never on time, let's say, or if I am always caught lying, will you be able to trust me? The answer is no, right? You cannot trust me. Why? Because I'm not being a man of integrity. I'm not doing as I promise and I don't promise as I do. Correct? So the first thing is, leading by example now how should he lead by example should cultivate a culture of integrity by acting with integrity and adhering to the code of conduct so if there the the person them herself uh, himself or herself should follow the code of conduct right if they are themselves not seen as following the code of conduct then that trust cannot be built the second thing which the CIA should uh, CAE should do is should establish policies and procedures to guide the internal audit activity to show diligence and responsibility. So if you think about uh, the rules of conduct under integrity, 
one of the aspects is when you are performing the work, you should do it with diligence and responsibility. Correct. How can you show that you have done work with diligence and responsibility? When the CA shows that, look, we have policies and procedures and uh, of how we need to perform. And hence, uh, by doing that, by having those policies and procedures and adhering to those policies and procedures, the CA shows that we are being diligent and responsible. What will that policy and procedure have? Internal audit policy and procedure have? It will have things like, uh, how do we plan our audit? How do we do our risk assessment? How do we staff our audits? Right? How should we send memos? How should we announce audits? How should we supervise the documents? What sort of documents, working paper should be maintained? How should we file them? What should be the reporting standards? These are all policies and procedures with respect to how the internal audit department should be run. Are you guys with me so far? Yes. Correct. So any good internal audit department will, depending on the size of that internal audit department, will have their own manual explaining to the internal audit associates, people of the internal audit department, how things should function. Okay. The third thing which the CAE may do is emphasize the importance of integrity by providing training and demonstrate integrity and other ethical principles in action. So by providing training to his employees, it can be report writing training, it can be about ethics, it can be about data analytics, it can be about it can be about these different aspects of internal audit that he is emphasizing the importance of training. If I keep telling you, you know, work paper quality has to be like this and everything is given in the policy and procedure. But for a new associate, right, we do not have adequate training or let's say supervision is not sufficient. Then it will be difficult for that associate to demonstrate integrity through doing good work. Correct? Because the quality is going to suffer. So there can be multiple things like providing training to the employees, giving them enough supervision, right? So by emphasizing the importance of integrity, how? By providing training and that demonstrate integrity and other ethical principles in action, the CAE uh, is, is demonstrating that he wants the department to be a department of integrity. Clear eh? so far? Any questions? Uh, <clears throat> no question, but okay, can you repeat that, that example that you gave for the first point, cultivate a culture of integrity by acting with integrity and culture, adhering to the code of, code of yeah, ethics? So um, I'll do that. First is, the CA should cultivate a culture of integrity by acting with integrity and adhering to the code of conduct. One of the principles of, uh, uh, one of the principles or the, uh, of the code of ethics is that you have to be a person of integrity. What does that mean? A person of integrity means you will do as you have promised and you will you will promise means you have actually spoken the way you are supposed to be doing things. Correct? Now, integrity, like I discussed yesterday, can be developed. Uh, or why is integrity important? Because integrity creates trust between two parties. Right? If I always stick to my word, then it develops trust in terms of how am I going to operate in a situation. You can expect that, you know what, Ankur is always going to be time, on time. Ankur is always going to make sure that documents are correct. Right? 
he's always going to make sure that supervision will be good the quality will be good like that trust gets developed if you see me sticking to my word yes or no yes <clears throat> yes so as the head of audit how do i make sure that my team does what they are supposed to do by me myself as a cae doing what i am supposed to do clear so that is what spent by he should cultivate a culture of integrity by acting with integrity and adhering to the code of conduct the code of conduct talks about being objective it talks about being independent if i just keep on saying you guys need to be independent you need, guys need to be objective you have to think about things uh, from an objective perspective not let other external forces impact your decision making with respect to a working paper or with respect to an observation right you should not be under undue pressure but i myself when someone says i drop an observation easily right or uh, or without any due reasons or if i am not independent i have business interests so i go easy on that particular audit or if i am let's say trading in the shares of the company then am i acting uh, uh, like a man of integrity no can i expect my team to act as such the answer is no clear ifra yes thank you okay the best attempts to identify and measure integrity likely involve astute awareness and understanding of the code of ethics rules of conduct for integrity the ipbf mandatory guidance and supporting practices so how do i know that uh uh a person is a person of integrity if i see there is astute awareness astute awareness means heightened sense of awareness about the code of ethics rule for conduct uh for integrity and the understanding of the code of ethics the ippf's mandatory guidance and supporting practices that shows that this person is a man of integrity so if i'm making sure that the compulsory components of the ippf are adhered to by someone then that demonstrates that the person is a person of integrity an auditor of integrity okay so the for internal auditors behaviors that may not be illegal bail but may be discreditable include everything that an internal auditor does may not necessarily be illegal someone may say ah, but what's what's illegal about it right i did it but it is nothing illegal about it i am a person of integrity if i did something which may but there may be certain things which may be discreditable so you cannot just argue on the lines of be, uh, things being legal or illegal so if someone can question my integrity even if the things that i did are legal okay so to take an example behavior that may be considered bullying harassing or discriminatory failing to accept responsibility for making mistakes issuing false reports or permitting others to do so lying making claims about one's competency in a manner that is deceptive false or misleading basically giving management let's say an indicator that yeah ha ha cyber security we will do the audit but no one has got experience of doing cyber security audit right that means what you are making claim about competency in a manner that is deceptive false or misleading now when you say that yes we can do this particular audit maybe it is not illegal but is it deceptive yes and if it is deceptive have you acted as a person of integrity no right making disparaging comments about the organization fellow employees or its stakeholders either in person or via media 
that is publications or social media posts can also be considered as discreditable. Now, if you think about it from an exam perspective, you may be given an example like, okay, you know what the CAE was, um, uh, the CAE posted something about this, XYZ is a CAE with ABC company, okay? On announcement of the results of ABC company, XYZ uh, took up to LinkedIn and on LinkedIn made certain disparaging comments about the head of procurement or made certain allegations or insinuated that something is wrong about that company. Correct? Now, does he have freedom of speech? He does have that freedom of speech. Is it illegal? Maybe not illegal. Let's say if he's not called out the name, then uh, maybe it is not illegal. Right? He is not trying to discredit someone's uh, someone personally, but he's made some disparaging comments. So can it be considered that he has not, he or she has not acted with integrity? Yes, possibly. Because making disparaging comments about the organization, fellow employees or its stakeholders, either in person or via media, that is in publications or social media posts, shows that that person has not acted with integrity. Make sense? Yeah. Um, minimizing, concealing or omitting observations or unsatisfactory conclusions and ratings from engagement reports or overall assessments. Right? Someone says, ki yaar, nahi nahi. Uh, ye nikal do, ye to bahut problem ho jayega audit committee mein. We will fix it, but you remove it from here. We can monitor it separately, right? So that minimizing, concealing, or omitting observations or unsatisfactory conclusions and ratings from the engagement reports or overall assessments, that is again a question of integrity. Okay. So if you think about it from a news clippings perspective, right? News me aata hai na? It says na, it tells that uh, so and so politician should resign. Yes, on grounds of integrity. It's either, either any of these things, right? That someone within the team has harassed a journalist, let's say. Correct? Or uh, a, a bridge which was constructed fell down and it killed X number of people. So... Failing to accept responsibility for making mistakes. Right? So, you say politician, ko, ki bhai, please, you need to resign. You have to take moral responsibility. If that person does not take moral responsibility, then you say that, you know what? This politician does not have any integrity. Despite such a huge mistake, he is refusing to step down. Clear, everyone? I'll come to you, Ifra. Yeah. So we say that that person is not a person of integrity. Issuing false reports or permitting others to do so. Lying, making claims about one's competency in a matter manner that is deceptive, false or misleading. Now here's another pro tip. <clears throat> what you can also do is when you are going through preachy material like this, preachy material matlab kya? Yeah? Preachy material ye karna chahiye, wo hona chahiye, ye wo, but you can't really think about uh, examples. Like I'm trying to give you as many examples as possible. But you are not able to think about examples. You can copy this particular paragraph, put it in chat GPT, right? and use the following prompts here uh, here properly right guys you should say that you are an internal auditor 
and you are also a professor of internal audit who, who teaches internal audit okay i came across the following paragraph and then put the paragraph in quotes can you suggest or can you provide me examples where the integrity where one can decide or one can uh, conclude that the integrity of the internal auditor has been compromised yeah when you put this uh, prompt in chat gpt it will come up with a bunch of examples which you can go through yes everyone Make sense? So please do that and it will give you a bunch of examples. In fact, you know what? We can do it right away. I'll just take a small... Uh, if I will, I will, I will, I have not forgotten, okay? Just give me a moment. Let's see here. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. So basically you have to tell uh, the LLM. Basically you are asking it to pick up a particular role, right? So then it goes back and looks at that particular knowledge base. So we are telling chat GPT. Uh, Sorry, I can't hear you, so I'm not sure if others can. No, I'm also not able to hear anything. Ankur, you are on mute. Sorry. I came across the following comment. For internal auditors, is it in front of any one of you? Can you just read it out for me, please? I need to... Uh... Yes, you are a professor yeah. who teach... I mean, the thing no, that no, you I'm write... Saying, Aage... No, 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 I'm saying aage, aage padho. like for internal auditors, behaviors that may not be illegal from the book. Yeah, I have it. I'll read it for you. Um, yeah. For internal auditors, behaviors that be may not be illegal, illegal, but may, uh, be, but yeah, may but be discreditable, may be discreditable. include, yeah, include, yeah, hyphen and yeah. then behavior that Say, may be considered behavior that, that may, may be, be considered, considered bullying harassing or discriminatory uh, bullying harassing or discriminatory i mean this is see this is pretty straightforward right yeah so, but let's see what it gives discriminatory Discriminatory. What's the spelling? Discriminatory. Me. Sorry. Okay. Yep. Uh, can you provide brackets? 
practical examples to illustrate this point. Okay. Okay. This is a demo, basically, how you can use it. Like I extensively use it for my work as well. Now you have got a bunch of examples, right? The bullying behavior. Internal auditors are expected to work collaboratively with colleagues and stakeholders. However, if an internal auditor consistently intimidates or belittles team members during audit engagement, it can create a toxic work environment and hinder effective collaboration. For instance, constantly criticizing team members work in a demeaning manner or excluding them from discussions and decision-making processes can be considered bullying behavior. Right now, you can think about some toxic manager or a toxic boss and say, Ki, yeah, ye to behavior is tarah ka hai. that means XYZ Ajay Jadav. I'm just making up a name, Ajay Jadav is not acting with integrity. Clear, everyone, right. So you can actually tell yourself by giving this example that you know what this person is not acting with integrity. Abhi, there is no way that you will forget what is acting with integrity means. Correct? Making claims about competency, us may be aap kuch ek generate kar sakte example. Okay, now, yeah, now let's go back to Ifra. Ifra, you had a question? Yes, I mean, I'm just trying to understand. We are saying that uh, these are some of the activities which are not illegal, but I mean, definitely bring some shame and reputational damage. But when we yeah. say harassing, harassing, don't mm. you think it's an Ill illegal thing? Like, I mean. Uh, harassment? No, I mean, speci specific. Can also be, yeah, vaisa to bullying can also be. Uh, uh illegal see achha, this is another thing pay close attention to the words that are being used okay for internal auditors behaviors that may not be illegal may not be that does not mean they are they are legal what they are trying to say is some of this behavior may not be considered illegal in a court of law or under a particular act regulation but that does not mean that you have not acted with that means you have acted with integrity make sense like for example if i make claims about my competency that may not necessarily be illegal are you getting me If, if ra. Yeah, yeah. Huh? So that is what they are saying that they may not be illegal. They are not saying they are not illegal. All of these examples are not illegal. They are not saying that. Right? They are saying some of these activities may not be considered illegal. But they are definitely, they definitely bring disrepute. Right? Now, for I'll give you another example. Uh, you can get drunk and swear at people or maybe not swear at people but you can just get drunk is it illegal no it's not illegal no will it bring disrepute to you it will yeah correct so that is what it means so you have to think about it in that may should must all of these words are used across this material and you have to be careful uh, when they use that word. Just generally make sure that you've understood each and every line item that way. Okay. Uh, minimizing, concealing, omitting observations is clear. Non-compliance with the standards and other IPPF mandatory guidance. Performing internal audit services with undeclared impairment to independence and objectivity. Matlab kya? Kaam shuru kar diya? 
एंड uh, काम शुरू किया एंड आई गॉट मैरिड ऑल्सो एंड नाउ माय साला इज माय क्लाइंट हेड ऑफ प्रोक्योरमेंट ओके व्हाट हैज हैपन आई मे बी परसीव्ड टू बी नॉट ऑब्जेक्टिव करेक्ट और आई मे माय ऑब्जेक्टिविटी मे बी इम्पेयर सो हैव आई डिक्लेयर्ड माय इम्पेयरमेंट to independence and objectivity no but i just went ahead and did the job so that is performing internal audit services with undeclared impairment performing internal audit services for which one is not competent like i said uh, cyber security ka pura audit kar diya without understanding cyber security properly or without being qualified uh, for that particular service a lot of this you will see there's a uh, you will see that real life mein aise nahi hota hai real life mein kisi ko kuch nahi pata the whole team doesn't know anything boss bolta hai are udhar samajh lenge kya hai right yes or no yes consulting mein hota hai consulting mein to khas hota hai theek hai and then uh, i remember when i was i was very very junior the boss would take up some work and then if we were not able to perform um uh, he would scold me are tumko kuch pata nahi hai aata nahi hai ye nahi wo nahi for the problem is mujhe to nahi aata hai mere saath walon ko bhi nahi aata hai so no one knew but we took that job right because we were a up and coming consulting firm theek hai तो वो टाइम पे जो भी मिल गया वो ले लेते हैं जैसे तैसे कर लेते हैं राइट सो बट एक्चुअली इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट यू आर नॉट एक्टिंग विथ इंटेग्रिटी बिकॉज यू आर परफॉर्मिंग इंटरनल ऑडिट सर्विसेज फॉर विच यू आर नॉट कॉम्पिटेंट दैट डज नॉट मीन यू डोंट टेक न्यू वर्क इट मीन्स एज अ टीम वी शुड बी कॉम्पिटेंट किसी को तो आना चाहिए तो अगर साइबर सिक्योरिटी ऑडिट कर रहे हैं देन साइबर सिक्योरिटी का साइबर तुमको तो पता होना चाहिए सिक्योरिटी किसी और को पता चाहिए होना चाहिए मुझे डेटा एनालिटिक्स पता होना चाहिए किसी और को सम अदर कंपोनेंट ऑफ साइबर सिक्योरिटी दे शुड नो सो कलेक्टिवली एज अ टीम वी शुड बी कॉम्पिटेंट समवन देर शुड बी अ मैनेजर हुज गॉट टेन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस डूइंग आई टी ऑडिट आई यू गाइज गेटिंग मी अगेन एग्जाम में एग्जाम में वेन दे एक्सप्लेन वेन दे गिव दैट केस राइट केस से पता चलेगा दे विल इंडिकेट दैट पीपल वर नॉट कॉम्पिटेंट एंड दे डीड इट राइट तो जस्ट कीप दैट इन माइंड सॉलिसिटिंग और डिस्क्लोजिंग कॉन्फिडेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन विदाउट प्रॉपर ऑथोराइजेड वट इज सॉलिसिटिंग सॉलिसिटिंग मीन ट्राइंग टू गेटिंग फॉर या और आस्किंग फॉर कॉन्फिडेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन विदाउट प्रॉपर ऑथोराइजेशन जस्ट बिकॉज तुम कोई फैसिलिटी का ऑडिट पे चले गए राइट यू जस्ट स्टार्ट लुकिंग फॉर हु इज गेटिंग पेड वॉट इज नॉट राइट दैट इज नॉन कंप्लायस एंड यू आर नॉट एक्टिंग विथ इंटेग्रिटी यू आर ट्राइंग टू get in confidential information without proper authority there's no reason for you to get it okay uh stating that internal audit activity is operating in conformance with standards when the assertion is not supported by the results of the quality assurance and improvement program which means you remember we need to have a qaip program the qaip program does what it basically keeps the department honest and it's the department's attempt to make sure that we are constantly improving the way we do our work right we are improving the quality of work that we are delivering correct now there are certain rules and when we do qip we will come to that but the point is there are certain rules that you need to follow uh with respect to qaip there is a standard which one needs to follow when it comes to qaip 
if you are uh, as per uh, from a QAIP standpoint, if the results of the QAIP show that you are in adherence with those standards, only then can you say that the department is operating in conformance with those standards. Right? So we are operating in conformance with those standards. Hum log wo standards ke hisab se kaam kar rahe Only then can you say it. Now you will say ki, Are, sir, kaha bolna hai humko? Right? Where do we have to say that? Now that you need to say in the reports. So internal audit department gives out a report or whenever it makes a presentation to the audit committee at the end of the year or quarterly, it is stating that we are in conformance with the IIA. Now the other question is, why do we have to say that? Correct. So us ke liye ek example hai. Uh, all of you have got your blood test done, right? Correct. Blood test karaya, samjho malaria ke liye. Malaria ke liye blood test karaya, whatever, uh, XYZ ke liye karvaya, blood test. Let's say on the report it just says, we have done the test, you have malaria. Are you okay with that report? What is missing in that report? I think the details like the number of values and the range. Are, but uh, uh, why is a range important? I made a range. Okay. I made a range. I said uh, malaria hai tumko because WBC I believe is from 100,000 to 200,000. Let's say I made that range up. What still is missing? As an auditor, बहुत ध्यान रखने का सब चीज पढ़ने का अच्छे से. I I get a lot of flack uh, in my home with my friends everywhere because I've got this horrible habit of reading anything that I get my eyes on. अभी मैं बैठा हूँ यहाँ पे एक बोतल पड़ा है, right? छोटा सा दवाई का. Like I'm coughing and my wife is like, अरे कुशल कंटिल खा लो. अच्छा हाँ ठीक है. Then she gives it to me. The next half an hour I'm just reading. You know, composition, doses, कम लू तो क्या होगा, ज़्यादा लू तो क्या होगा, internet पे जाके, is it safe, not safe, I've got this horrible habit of reading, which is a very good habit. So now coming back to my example, what else is missing? If I uh, say WBC count is not say itna hai, will that give you enough comfort? But getting uh, an authorization from the expert who can give us a proper info whether we can get in our own language to understand whether it is right or wrong. Okay. Uh, Rich, are you going to say something? Yeah. The What I was saying was get knowing what the blood count is, it's fine. But if we don't know what the, what the reference frame is, there needs to be a reference to context. Yes, exactly. Now go back, all of you, and take out your blood reports and see. For each and every line item that they have, right? Niche at the end of the page, they will you will see that this has been ELSA has been used, double bind XYZ test has been used, right? You are using a particular standard. That standard gives you that comfort that something which has been recognized as a valid standard is being used. Why is that imp important? Why does it give you comfort? Because it lends credibility. So, koi kuch bhi bol sakta hai na? But you are getting measured against a certain thing. Does everyone understand kya ho hai? Huh? Can you please repeat once again? Okay. I'm saying, um, I'm saying when you follow a particular standard, it lends a certain credibility. Credibility matlab kya? Yes, you can believe this person because so-and-so thing has been done as per a agreed standard. Right? Otherwise, anyone can claim anything, na? 
सो so, अन्वेश अभी समझा ना लाइक like, कोई भी उठा के कुछ भी बोल सकता है ब्लड रिपोर्ट में बट तुमने अगेंस्ट व्हाट डिड यू कंपेयर राइट सो यू कंपेयर अगेंस्ट एन एस्टाब्लिश स्टैंडर्ड एस्टाब्लिश स्टैंडर्ड मींस बाय डेफिनेशन अ स्टैंडर्ड व्हिच हैज बीन अग्रीड बाय अ वाइड वाइड नंबर ऑफ एक्सपर्ट्स करेक्ट सिमिलरली when we say that we have done the work in conformance with the standards it lends credibility so institute ye bol raha hai you cannot say that you have done the work as per standards if tumhara khud ka quality assurance procedure says that you have not followed the standards properly ab clear hua sabko everyone yeah theek hai ओके ओवर लुकिंग इलीगल एक्टिविटीज दैट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मे टॉलरेट और कंडोन तो अगेन सत्यम का एग्जाम्पल यू आर एन इंटरनल ऑडिटर मैनेजिंग डिरेक्टर को यू आर ओनली हेल्पिंग आउट टू टू इन्फ्लेट द सेल्स इन्फ्लेट द फिक्स डिपॉजिट इन बैंक डी फ्रॉड द ऑडिटर्स टैट ऑडिटर्स बाय क्रिएटिंग दिस फॉल्स फिक्स डिपॉजिट सर्टिफिकेट्स राइट सो यू आर ओवर लुकिंग इलीगल एक्टिविटी using the cia designation or other credential after they have expired or been revoked now just going back to that earlier satyam wala example think about the time when the internal auditor of satyam is standing in the court of law inside that katgara i don't know what is that called uh, the the box right uh, uh, what is that called yeah what's the word for that um where the person accused stands and gives his makes his uh, arguments right or responds to questions court so the court. internal auditor is standing there right and the court is announcing the judgment so for the internal auditor kya bolega court mr xyz has been found guilty under x y z a b c all of these sections and he has brought significant disrepute to the occupation of internal auditors to the profession of internal auditors correct chamka ki nahi aisa tudum right and has acted Uh, and has not acted with integrity as a bol ke the court of law will announce their judgment clear hua so if you have overlooked illegal activities that the organization may tolerate or condone using the cia designation or other credentials after they have expired or been revoked so after you become a cia you are supposed to continually continuously make sure that your cpe is complete cpe is continuing professional education so you have to complete certain hours of education every year to retain that certificate and use that designation and technically i cannot use this designation on a report uh, uh, if it has been expired like if that credential has expired and when does the credential expire the credential expires when let's say cp aapka complete nahi hua hai ya tumne fees pay nahi kiya hai something like that so you cannot use that designation okay theek hai chalo aage badhte hain how to comply with the integrity rule तो उसके लिए एक एग्जांपल दिया है डिलीजेंट सुपरविजन ऑफ एंगेजमेंट एंड परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द सेल्फ असेसमेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड बाय द स्टैंडर्ड डेमोन्स्ट्रेट इंटेग्रिटी ऑफ द इंटरनल ऑडिट एक्टिविटी एज अ होल तो अगर तुमने स्टैंडर्ड्स बनाए हैं राइट द सी ए इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इंप्लीमेंटिंग इंटेग्रिटी हाउ बाय लीडिंग बाय एग्जाम्पल एस्टाब्लिशिंग पॉलिसी and providing training correct now 
diligent supervision for the department as a whole you can say they are uh, they have demonstrated integrity if you can clearly see that in the department there is enough supervision of the engagement they are self assessing how they perform they are identifying their problems they are rectifying their problems on an ongoing basis so you can say ki yaar this person is a man of integrity ye khud ko accountable rakhta hai he decides what he has clearly said what they are going to do when they don't do that they question themselves and they are constantly improving they always supervise themselves to make sure that they are acting the way they said they will act correct so supervision ho gaya and quality review se kya ho gaya constant improvement ho gaya to make sure that we stay uh we stick to the principle of integrity clear hai everyone okay um example internal auditor is working for a cosmetic manufacturer that may be inappropriately testing cosmetics if out of loyalty to the employer no information about testing is gathered the auditor violated the rules of conduct by knowingly becoming a party to illegal act engaging in an act discreditable to the profession failing to make disclosure expected by law not performing the work diligently see a number of things have gone wrong by not testing or by keeping quiet in this particular case ठीक है सो इट डज नॉट हैव टू बी वन थिंग बाय डूइंग वन थिंग यू कैन बी इम्पैक्टिंग यू मे नॉट बी डूइंग कपल ऑफ थिंग्स सो बाय कीपिंग क्वाइट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस ए वायोलेटेड अ नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स व्हिच इंडिकेट व्हिच शो दैट यू हैव वायोलेटेड द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंटेग्रिटी ठीक है सो दैट वॉज एथिक्स इंटेग्रिटी नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑब्जेक्टिविटी uh the most important thing is you should be objective and you should be seen as objective also theek hai khali objective hone se kuch nahi hota you should be also seen as objective for example um uh, um uh, I'll take a political example, ठीक है without without naming the politician, but let's say a certain powerful politician is seen, uh, let's say on a holiday with a big industrialist, right? Or is seen as uh, to be very very close with someone. right within business or within judiciary or something like that to hum log kya bolte hain what do we say ki sab mile jule hue right barabar hai they are all hand in glove what does that do that reduces our trust in that person correct why does it reduce our trust in that person because to us mentally it indicates that the decisions being taken may not be objective enough does it ring a bell with everyone samajh mein aaye example yes or no right that is why people in power have to take extra efforts to be seen as neutral correct so you should not the shall not participate in any activity or relationship that may impair or be presumed to be to impair the unbiased assessment shall not accept anything us pe aayenge so so we we'll, i'm not going to read the full damn thing because we've already done that before 
the objectivity principle is a frequently tested ethics topic exam mein, huh? being able to apply the rules of conduct related to objectivity to scenarios will increase your success on the exam to do this a higher level of understanding beyond memorization is required okay the khali yaad karne se kuch nahi hoga tumko yaar really you should understand ki yaar which particular scenario mein my objectivity gets impaired okay um a material ownership interest in a competitor is allowable an internal auditor seldom can during the course of employment take action to enhance the value of the ownership interest for example if management override of an important control creates exposure to a material risk the internal auditor is ethically obligated to report the matter to senior officials charged with performing the governance function disclosure is not limited by time constraints okay which means what uh there is a very important control segregation of duty let's say or let's say approval of payment in case of satyam there was segregation of duty with respect to accepting the sales order fulfilling that sales order saying that the sale has happened all of these activities were segregated but then what happened at the end of the year before book closure um what was his name uh, raju went inside the system used super admin access and inflated the sales right the super admin access se tum kya kar sakte all these activities you can do you can accept the order you can fulfill the order you can do the accounting all of it right so what has happened there has been a management override of control now if you come across a management override of control then it is you are ethically ob obligated to report the matter to senior officials charged with performing the governance function and disclosure is not limited by time constraint okay uh just just stay with me theek okay? hai an internal auditor cannot assure anonymity information communicated to an internal auditor is not deemed to be privileged however promising merely to attempt to keep the source of information confidential is allowed so you can say ki look i'll keep this i will try to keep this information confidential in case of an investigation so let's say you've been part as an internal auditor you've been part of an investigation it is your duty to keep the name of the person confidential who has been involved in that fraud when you are investigating it right or you are part of the investigation but if called upon by law to testify in a court of law then you cannot be like no i cannot declare the name of the person clear hai yes or no everyone so you cannot assure anonymity but you can promise merely to attempt to keep the source of information confidentiality confidential is allowed disclosure is not required when the internal auditor gathers sufficient information to dispel the suspicion of fraud uh so when the internal auditor has gathered sufficient information to dispel the suspicion of fraud disclosure is not required the ca should share information and coordinate activities with other internal and external providers of relevant assurance and consulting services fine the whole problem with this stupid material here is that these are all disjointed examples god knows why they have given it Uh, from an objectivity standpoint, right? ये सब यहाँ पे क्यों examples दिया है? All valid, but I don't know why they have given it. So we'll let it pass. पहले हम लोग we'll talk about the rules of conduct for objectivity. ठीक है? So a conflict of interest policy is very very important. Why is a conflict of interest policy being talked about here? it is talked about here is because if you adhere to a conflict of policy interest 
then you can be reasonably certain that your objectivity is protected. Correct? So if you have a policy which says that yaar, kisi ke saath mera relationship hoga, then I'm not going to uh, audit that person. I'm going to declare that I am my objectivity is impaired. And what am I going to do? That that to make sure that that impairment does not impact my work. Right? Yeh sari cheez apke conf conflict of interest policy mein hogi. Right? That is is why the conflict of interest policy is very important. A conflict of interest policy should prohibit the transfer of benefit between an employee and those with whom the organization deals. Matlab kya? Let's say as an internal auditor. I'd given you an example. Where I said I am the internal auditor of Tata Motors, right? But I am the strategy advisor of Mahindra and Mahindra, Mahindra Automobiles. Is that relationship okay? That relationship is not okay, correct? Because there's clearly a conflict of interest. <clears throat> is everyone with me on this one? Yeah. So what does it prohibit or what, what does it violate? Uh, uh, this one, uh, confidentiality ka konsata. shall not accept anything that may impair or be presumed to impair, shall not participate in any activity or relationship that may impair or presume to impair the unbiased assessment, right? Uh, shall disclose all material facts nahi hai, but shall not participate in any relationship that may impair or be presumed to impair. Okay. So first rule of conduct 2.1 excessive individual fraternizing outside the work with the organization's employees. Procurement head, sales head ke saath every quarter tum party kar rahe ho. Okay. So, uh, I'm, so I'm not saying party in terms of offsites or let's say as part of the uh, company get together program or something like that, right? Because that you are doing it as part of the organization and you are interacting with everyone. It's not like I am going to hang out with these guys only, correct? But, but think about a situation. Where people within the organizations talk about you and say that you are very, very pally with the procurement head or with the sales head. You all go on golf trips together. You all go to Goa together every now and then, right? Yes, guys, that is called what? Excessive individual fraternizing outside of work. With the organizations, employees, management, third party suppliers, vendors. Correct? Now you are vendor audit. Kar rahe ho. So your manager says that, uh, your boss says that you are going to lead an audit, a vendor audit. He's a very big vendor for us. So X, uh, uh, Accenture, hai, let's say, is the vendor. Accenture handles your IT infrastructure. And the relationship manager from Accenture side who is who is going to get audited is your best friend, let's say. Then will your objectivity be presumed to be impaired? Yes or no? Yes, right? So in that case, uh, yeah, I mean, it will be presumed to be impaired. So you have to stay away from those kind of relationships. In the sense, you have to stay away from these kind of engagements. Certain dealings in commercial properties, excluding rental activity. So certain dealings in commercial property, this is also a favorite example for them. They will be like, uh, uh, What's the excluding rental activity where the company basically gives you something on rent and the rent is at market value there there is no impairment to my objectivity correct uh, or certain dealings in commercial properties 
typically they give a very specific example around sale of uh, a particular land parcel at a lower cost or something similar right or you are selling your property to the organization at a uh, at a certain cost which is not at arm's length arm's length matlab kya i would have sold at the same price to anyone else as well right it's a fair price which is available in the market sales of services or products by the internal auditor to the organization participation in non public service organizations may not be allowed for example serving as consultant to third parties with which the organization conducts business correct we again accenture is your vendor but accenture also you also have started giving services on weekends to accenture as whatever an it consultant or something like that performing an audit in a department managed by a family member accepting a bonus based on work accomplished during an audit right assuming the management responsibilities and auditing an area in which the auditor had such responsibilities within one year right you had management assuming management responsibilities and auditing an area in which the auditor had such responsibilities within one year so ek saal in the last 12 months you were part of the procurement department you were a procurement manager but in the last 6 uh, one year you have joined the internal audit department and have been asked to audit the uh, procurement department right so you had earlier management responsibilities means you were taking certain decisions about that work now what has happened is you have you are now getting into a situation where you will audit your own work correct that is not allowed so rule of conduct 2.1 talks about that so shall not participate in any activity and here are a bunch of examples of violation yeah raja ankur sir i have one questions for example if i am in the procurement department of xyz company okay mm -hmm. and within 6 months i have resigned the company and i have joined you know abc company in internal auditor mm -hmm. so will i be able to do the audit for that company as a external audit uh, uh, external auditor internal is not re relevant here so is, am i eligible to do the audit for that company <laughs> you cannot do the audit Though it's a different so I will give you an example. Let's say you were in Tata Motors procurement department, huh. right? In yeah. the last six months, you joined EY. Hmm. Okay. Right. Now EY said EY. Me the manager had a brilliant idea. He said, "Arey, you to know procurement in and out of that uh, company, Tata Motors. Right. Why don't you go and audit it?" Yeah, he said, "Na." Hmm. 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 Exactly. And then the answer is you cannot. and you should not right because fundamental principle kya hai principle is will your judgment be impaired impaired matlab damaged or influenced hmm. the answer is yes enough time has not passed by and by enough the institute has said one year right yeah so at least one year needs to pass between your employment with tata motors and the next time you audit it as an auditor got it sir yeah yeah got it. anything here so okay. is it for the entire brand for example tata has different companies tata consultant services tata power solutions but as example i may have worked in tata consultant नहीं आप कहां पे प्रोक्योरमेंट हेड थे उसके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है इसके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है कॉट कॉट या टाटा मोटर्स में अगर आप प्रोक्योरमेंट हेड थे तो टाटा कंसल्टेंसी को यू कैन गो एंड नॉट इट दैट हैज गॉट नथिंग टू डू विद टाटा मोटर्स या बेसिकली द फंडामेंटल इज द क्वेश्चन दैट यू नीड टू आस्क इज विल आई गेट इनटू अ पोजीशन वेयर आई एम ऑडिटिंग माय ओन वर्क 
correct that is the fundamental question that you need to ask okay uh the second rule rule of conduct 2.2 which was pertaining to shall not accept anything that may impair or be presumed to impair right acceptance of any valuable thing rule of conduct 2.2 says accepting gifts means trips and special treatment that exceed policy limits or are not disclosed and approved correct so the company will have a policy you will have a policy now let's say you are part of tata motors tata motors may you are part of the internal audit department tata motors i know has a very strong uh, and they have got very good policies and procedures one of the policy and procedure is around gifts right taking and giving gifts so if they define that kitna value the gifts allowed hai ye wo let's say the gift value they said is that 5000 rupees right 5000 rupees tak ka tum gift de sakte ho outsiders ko wagera wagera within the departments it cannot exceed let's say 1000 rupees now the internal audit department can have their own policy pertaining to their own department which may be more stringent saying that we should not accept anything from our clients right so tum you are following that particular um, policy accepting the gifts means trips and special treatment that exceed policy limits or are not disclosed and approved so that is a violation working in a non audit position and accepting gifts not permitted by iia code of conduct so working in a non audit position and accepting gifts not permitted by iia code of conduct so if you are you're not in a no, you you're not in an you are an auditor but you also work in a non audit position and accept gifts which are not permitted by the iia code of conduct right that is also a violation now the third one shall disclose all material facts right uske related kya kya violation hai intentional omission of disclosure of illegal activity from final engagement final engagement withholding pertinent information not communicating pertinent information distorting facts reported in final engagement communication right if i was you this is what i would do when i am reading okay wait let me just demonstrate something I'm just going to show you that uh, let me know once you see my screen okay can you see my screen now yes. yeah So if I would be you, I would basically start making the notes like this. I would say, okay, let's talk about objectivity. Correct. Okay, objectivity. Objectivity में मैं क्या बोलूँगा? Objectivity में मैं बोलूँगा कि okay there are three parts to objectivity, not participating, right? And I will bracket में I will say uh, appears uh, मतलब uh, impair or presumed to be to impair. दोनों चीज important है, right? So I will my I I will say that. Uh, that's one. Then second will be around uh, accepting, right? Mm -hmm. 
gifts or things of value right then i will say okay what is the third thing the third is disclosure of material facts correct and in all these cases this is important correct so there are three parts then i would start saying okay not participating jo pehla wala hai usme main excessive individual fraternizing main ye nahi padhte rahunga 50 bar right i will just read this i will say okay uh, richa is hanging out with the purchase head regularly parting hard ठीक है सर्टन डीलिंग्स इन कमर्शियल प्रॉपर्टीज तो उसका एक एग्जांपल ले लूंगा राइट सेल ऑफ सर्विसेज और प्रोडक्ट्स बाय इंटरनल ऑडिटर टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई से सेलिंग माय हाउस और माय बिजनेस टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेयर आई एम वर्किंग right correct so i will give these examples i will list down these examples basically sabke niche theek hai a4 page pe waise main mere notes banaunga and main fir yahi refer karunga is it making sense to everyone samajh raha hai क्या बोल रहा हूं हाँ डिस्क्लोजर ऑफ मटेरियल फैक्ट्स में क्या क्या है इंटेंशनल ओमिशन और डिस्क्लोजर ओके तो आई से डिसाइडेड टू ओमिट द फैक्ट दैट वी आर पल्यूटिंग एन ऑडिटिंग फैसिलिटी decided to omit the fact that we are polluting right or uh, withholding pertinent information so jo bhi mera project hai let's say procurement ka main kar raha hu to the fact that pos have not been approved right decided not to tell the audit committee नॉट कम्युनिकेटिंग पर्टिन एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द सी ए डिड नॉट टेल माई बॉस द हेड ऑफ ऑडिट दैट सर्टन टेस्ट हैव फेल्ड राइट फॉर अ स्कोप आइटम distorting facts reported in final engagement communication so let's say you uh, 5 out of 7 uh, not 5 out of 7 8 out of 10 samples failed let's say instead um um instead basically i diluted that particular uh, observation right such that basically itna serious nahi dikhe ye clear hai so this is what i will do i'll take a a4 imagine this is a computer ka a4 right or an a3 main mera objectivity likh dunga yahan pe then i will say yaar ye these are the rules and then i will just give examples for each of these uh, i mean whatever they have said i will actually come up with examples for me to remember clear everyone tip hai ye pro tip टीचर विच वन डिड यू फाइंड यूजफुल वो चैट जीपीटी 
Yes, Ankur. Uh, mm. I mean, I use chat GPT, but uh, yeah. the prompts are so important, right? Because it depends yeah, on how, uh, yeah, how, like, so that example that you gave of telling chat GPT that you are a professor, that that was helpful. So, yeah, just be careful. Like in when using chat GPT, don't ask things, uh, don't ask it factual things like conceptual things or factual things here it had to create certain examples which violated the principles of objectivity right so it can do that like it can hallucinate it can come up with this thing but tum unko pucho ke na. Abhi main agar puchu, i don't know how it works now but i tell tell him uh, give me all the standards listed in the CI uh, on the IIA website or something of that sort or listed by the Institute of Internal Auditors. Okay. It may just create some standards. So, us ka factual cheeze jo hai na, wo mat pucho. Let me just see what does it say. Please list out all the standards published by the Institute of internal auditors i don't know what it will come up with it has got the information publishes a variety of standards as of my last update in jan 22 uh, it has got the IPPF. Uh, okay. Uh, how many uh, international standards does it have? Can you list them? But I'm saying, like, don't rely on it for this kind of factual uh, information is all I'm trying to say. Yes, I um, mm -hmm. I agree uh, with that. Yeah. Because you have to still verify, uh, especially because yeah. the, the info is dated over there. And it could be, yeah. you, you could fall prey to um, incorrect information. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so basically... Um, like jo yahan pe factually it has given correct answer first of all pehle to usne bola ki okay have ippf code of ethics all of that right then i said okay but international standards kitne list that down so it has listed it down 1000 1100 1200 1300 2000 right all of this correct but the point is uh, i don't know if i say no there are still more standards can you list them Let's say what it says. It might just create some things. Two thousand nine hundred करके कोई I don't think there's a two thousand nine hundred करके standard. I don't think there's a 2,900 karke governance standard. Okay. So that is what I'm trying to tell you. If I go here. Sorry guys. Huh? Thoda, I know going a bit uh, off topic. I just want to because this is interesting. <laughs> standard, Okay. performance standard two thousand six hundred communicating the acceptance of risk ah that's the last standard 
Yeah, it's the last standard. Yep. तो टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड करके कोई स्टैंडर्ड ही नहीं है वही मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि यार कम्युनिकेशन वाला लास्ट स्टैंडर्ड है दैट आई नो देर इज नो टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फॉर श्योर सी टू थाउजेंड सीरीज टू थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड मॉनिटरिंग प्रोग्रेस ना इफ यू गो हियर इफ आई गो हियर वॉट डज इट से कम्युनिकेटिंग एंड अप्रूवल इन्फॉर्मेशन but you can rely on it for conceptual information for understanding concepts okay clear everyone yes sir okay uh or 10 minute karke uske baad mein we'll take a break moving along How do we demonstrate conformance with objectivity? अभी हम लोग ने already discuss कर लिया, right? भाई, don't now don't get confused. क्या रे किसको demonstrate करना है? गड़ी गड़ी बोलता है, how do we demonstrate? How do we demonstrate? किसको demonstrate करना है? Demonstrate करना है कल उठ के कोई भी question करे, regulator question करे. फिर तुमको तुम्हारा जब when you have to do your QAIP at that time you will have to see whether you are in line with the standards. because only when you are in line with the standards can you say i am in line with the standards in your reports correct regulator will come and say boss tum kaisa audit kar rahe ho dikhao right you say you are in line with standards show us tabhi tum dikha rahe ho usko right so ye ghadi ghadi jo baat ho rahi na confirm this is demonstrated by demonstrated by don't be confused by why do i have to demonstrate you know why you have to demonstrate that is clear to build credibility whom should we demonstrate that is also now clear right because you need to have a qip program that you need to maintain to show that you are building or you are improving uh, your quality you are monitoring your quality and you are improving your quality depending on the uh, based on the lessons that you have learned from your own quality assessments you have to show it to the regulator also whenever the regulator asks for it theek hai to kaise dikhayenge hum log when the cae has provided policies and procedures for the internal audit activity that's one way of demonstrating that look we are we are aware of uh, objectivity in our policies and procedures we have clearly talked about being objective how we should be objective we take statements from the people saying that they are objective when they are doing their audit right so basically people when i am signing a document saying that yes i am in compliance with the code of ethics or with objectivity basically code of ethics objectivity being part of code of ethics then i'm actually being actively aware of the fact that i need to be objective right otherwise it all becomes theory to so policies and procedures mein hai ca uh, regularly may ask internal auditors boss please attend meetings or training sessions about objectivity right uh document the rationale for allocation of resources to internal audit plan including potential impairment or if i boss ankur ko is pe nahi dal sakta hai uh, procurement audit pe because procurement wala iska jija hai ya sala hai right correct so wherever you see an impairment how have you dealt with it if the ca can demonstrate that then he can demonstrate that he has been objective the department has been objective uh approval of the ca or designated engagement supervisor uh, on the work papers will show that there has been a balanced assessment abhi 
<laughs> I don't know about the relationship that you have with any with a client that you are auditing. Correct. So when you are doing your audit and after that, when you bring in your work papers, those work papers should be supervised and reviewed properly. Because I don't know about your relationship. And I don't know whether you have been objective or not. So as a supervisor, when I am looking at it with a fresh pair of eyes, I am trying to assess whether I am going to reach the same conclusion as you reached. Samaj mein hai? Kya bula mein Guys, anyone? Thumbs up. So, imagine, nahi samjha, very good. So, uh, Anvesh, imagine tumne audit kar liya. Thik hai? You made the work paper. Now, why is your boss verifying that? Uh, why is he verifying your work papers? He is verifying to make sure that if you said everything is fine, or if you said that there are two failures, or there is one failure, or there are four failures, or there is one major failure, he should also reach the same conclusion as you have reached, right? From your documents. Correct, na? That is why that review is being done. Ke bhai, quality jo humara hai, professional due diligence, has he seen it properly? Just to make sure that Anvesh, you have not been unduly impacted or impressed or influenced by the client. Correct? That's why you have a separate pair of eyes. So when we can demonstrate that, look, yeah, our engagement work paper approved, hote hai, right? So that there is a balanced assessment of the issue. Uh, feedback from post engagement surveys and supervisory reviews of engagements may provide additional evidence that the internal auditor's work appeared to be performed objectively. So there can be post engagement surveys supervisory reviews of the engagements, right? So again, part of the QAIP, you can take some samples of the audits which have been done in the recent past, review it, correct? And that gives you more uh, comfort that things were objective. I'll show you something. Uh, I know we need to go on a break, but let me just show you something. Wait. Yeah, uh, let me know if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, Ankur. Yeah, Jabi hum QAIP karenge na, tabi ye or detail me me baat karunga. But essentially, Ankur Jada is the CA. These guys were, uh, uh, these guys are the VPs. Vice Presidents reporting to CAE. Uske niche you have managers, senior auditors, auditors. These were the people I used to teach in the earlier batch, right? So let's say the team is divided like this. Quarter 2 khatam ho gaya. Quarter 2 mein ye audits kiye. Okay? Thik hai? These people did these audits. To ek separate Mohan ka Sarda Vignesh Lalit ठीक है मोहन ने जो है जब ये ऑडिट हुआ ऑडिट ऑफ सेल्स ही इज रिव्यूड दिस वर्क दैट इज ऑनगोइंग सुपरविजन ओके तो क्वार्टर 2 में ये सारे काम हुए मोहन रिव्यूड दिस वर्क दिस इज ऑनगोइंग सुपरविजन राजू सुपरवाइज दीस गाइस राजू सुपरवाइज दीस गाइस तन्वी सुपरवाइज दीस गाइस फॉर दिस इंडिविजुअल ऑडिट्स आर यू गाइस विद मी सो फार Clear? 
दिस इज ऑन गोइंग सुपरविजन फिर पीरियोडिक सेल्फ असेसमेंट में शारदा संजय अमित अमित एंड संजय सो अमित हैज रिव्यूड ऑडिट ऑफ सेल्स ही इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ ही इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द ऑडिट राइट सो ही ऑडिटेड दैट संजय ऑडिटेड रिलेटेड पार्टी ट्रांजेक्शन वेन एम से रिलेटेड मतलब अमित और संजय ने जो है वो डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिव्यू किया कि हमने ऑडिट कैसे किया मेरे टीम मेंबर्स ने मेरे टीम मेंबर्स ने मींस अदर मेंबर्स ऑफ द कॉर्पोरेट ऑडिट डिपार्टमेंट हाउ डिड दे ऑडिट इट राइट सो दे डिड दैट असेसमेंट ओके Associates have signed a code of ethics. They have undertaken trainings. Reports have been in time, so on and so forth. So they did that assessment. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, the QAIP, the fact that your regular quality assessments also get done, also show that there was a there was objectivity involved, because the supervision may that's the key component, na, to determine that, yar. Have we taken a balanced assessment of things? ऐसा तो नहीं है कि रीचा गॉट टू इन्फ्लुएंस बाई द प्रोसेस ओनर एंड शी ड्रॉप्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन या शी वॉज शी डजन लाइक दैट गाई सो शी इन्फ्लेटेड समथिंग करेक्ट गॉड इट एवरी वन या लास्ट एग्जाम्पल बिफोर यू ग्रो ऑन अ ब्रेक सो इफ यू लुक एट दैट एग्जाम्पल Uh, at the end of the year, an IA department, uh, an IA team made observations, recommendations, improve efficiency. To express gratitude, division manager presented them with a gift of moderate value. The internal audit team meets to discuss whether to accept the gift or not. The following reasons for accepting or not accepting the gift were discussed. One auditor said we should accept the gift because its value is insignificant. Another audit say auditor said that we should not accept the gift until after we submit our final engagement. The third auditor said we should not accept the gift. Right now, here the lead auditor has considered everyone's argument and said, "Yeah, we should not accept the gift because accepting the gift would be inappropriate because we would be presumed to." it would have presumed to impair our judgment koi koi sunega externally ya koi aise bhi dekhega to unko lagega yaar these guys are not objective remember this is not in the um normal manner of you know let's say diwali pe sabko sweets ka box bat raha hai to tumko bhi mil gaya this is not that kind of a gift Are you guys getting me? This is not the twenty twenty four diary which is being sent to all employees, right? This is a specific instance of a gift being given to a specific team for work. So while value does play a role, and in this particular case, it's moderate value. Let's say if it would have been, if they they would have pointed to it's of negligible value. In that case, it would have been okay to take the gift. Are you guys getting me? But example, me indicate bhi kiya moderate value ki cheese thi. Now what do you do? So now you err on the side of caution. You are being more. you are uh, being more conservative ke bhai nahi nahi leta yaar abhi chhod koi unnecessarily bolega ki kya hai right are you getting me uh, hum kahan the where were we hum the confidentiality pe so the third aspect of ethics is confidentiality again i would encourage you guys to create your own notes theek hai um wo jo excel sheet pe maine bola na usi tarah se confidentiality what are the parts and then for each rules what are examples of violation okay
So, uh, what is confidentiality? What shall the internal auditors do? They shall be prudent. Prudent ka definition dekh lo. Dictionary mein. Prudent means sensible and careful. Okay. So, you shall be sensible and careful. While doing what? When using information and protecting the information. Okay. That you have acquired in the course of our duties as an internal auditor. Now, so you should do this. What should what you should not do? You shall not use the information for any personal gain or in any manner that would be contrary to the law or detrimental to the legitimate and ethical objectives of the organization. So don't use the information that you have got for your benefit or don't use it in any way that is illegal, contrary to the law means illegal or disadvantages, detrimental to the legitimate and ethical objectives of the organization. Okay. So, you got the data. You shared it with a friend who has a startup. I gave you this example yesterday. Right? He requires database of 50,000 employees who uh, are, let's say, um, Tata Motor car owners. And you are the audit, uh, one of the audit managers on the Tata Motors internal audit team. I am trying, I am, I have created this startup company which sells a particular car accessory, right? Um, so I can use this database to target those people. Now, this is not your direct benefit, correct? But can you share this information? That would be contrary to the law. So it, so it will become contrary to the law because data privacy gets violated, right? <clears throat> Let's say this was not contrary to the law, but it is detrimental to the legitimate and ethical objectives of the company, right? Tata Motors has an ethical objective to keep its data confidential. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So now let's look at that. Uh, further guidance on confidentiality is provided in the implementation guide, Code of Ethics Confidentiality. Organizations usually issue information security policies to protect the data that they acquire, use and produce to ensure compliance with the laws and regulations. So information security policy is the company. What employees can do, what they cannot do. To protect proprietary information, policies and procedures may require internal auditors to take following precautions even when handling information internally. So, Tata Motors ka khud ka ek in information security policy hoga which all employees need to be abide by, abide by, right? So, you as an employee of Tata Motors and internal auditor needs to abide by that. Plus, aapke internal audit department ka internal audit policy and procedure document hoga, which will talk about how you should protect the information that you have gathered during the audit. Clear? Yeah? <clears throat> so, so, collect, so, um, while you have power and authority to get the data, correct? As part of your audit charter, hota na, ki you have access to all people, place, uh, documents for the purpose of your audit, right? So you have access to all of that, but you need to be judicial, you need to be sensible and careful when using it, right? So collect only the data required to perform the assigned engagement and use this information only for engagements intended purposes. You can't take that data and do some other 
analysis which is not relevant to the purpose of that audit protect the information to pehle to collect karo and use it only for the engagement's intended purposes once it is there with you you have to protect the information jo hum log ne kal baat kiya tha ki payroll ka data liya you uploaded it on a drive where everyone has got access correct <clears throat> so protect information from intentional or unintentional disclosure through the use of controls such as data encryption email distribution restriction restriction of physical access to the information stuff like that eliminate copies of or access to such data when it is no longer needed payroll ka aapka audit ho gaya report ho gaya sara ho gaya you don't require the payroll data now so delete that data okay um ye bahut important to better understand the effects of legal and regulatory requirements and protections example legal privilege or attorney client privilege the ca should consult with legal counsel the organization's policies and procedures may require that specific authorities review and approve business information before external release so for example you are the internal audit head of a bank right you are regulated by rbi or uh, or you are the internal audit head of a pharma company and you are regulated by fda let's say right or fda has some regulatory oversight on you now when they ask for certain information you shouldn't just pick it up and send it to them just because you are the internal audit head and you have that information you should go to consult with the legal counsel and you have to share such information so organizations policies and procedures may require that specific authorities review and approve the information before sharing it with external parties okay should not must not use must matlab compulsory you must not use information for personal gain theek okay? hai buying and selling shares based on quarter ka results which are going to come up right uh, another example is releasing insider knowledge to journalist or other via a uh, uh, via other media without proper authorization using insider information to develop a competitive product or selling proprietary information to a competitor also violates this confidential rule internal auditor ho you reviewed the r&d department recently you know what accessory is the car manufacturer or the car manufacturing a car accessory manufacturing company is innovating you take that information from tata motors when you are auditing them and go and sell it to mahindra and mahindra correct so that also violates the confidentiality rule moving on furthermore should not abuse their privilege to access information such as using access to customer records to look up neighbors recent purchases or to view the हेल्थ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ अ सेलिब्रिटी करेक्ट जरी वाला का ऑडिट कर रहे हो आप एन यू आर लाइक अरे चलो देखते हैं अमिताभ बच्चन को क्या तकलीफ है राइट right? विराट कोहली को क्या हुआ है बराबर खेला नहीं देखता हूँ क्या प्रॉब्लम है कैप्टन सेइंग देर हेल्थ इश्यूज व्हाट हेल्थ इश्यूज डिड ही हैव और डिड ही जस्ट वॉन्ट टू पार्टी इन लंडन चेक करता हूँ सो कैन डू दैट ठीक है so do not abuse your privilege to access information so stick to your audit objective use it for the purpose of your audit objective don't use it for personal benefit don't use it for someone else's benefit yeah guys can you hear me yes um uh, don't use it for someone else's benefit uh and uh, what was i saying when storing it make sure that it remains confidential correct when the purpose is solved delete it 
right? So those are the things that you need to take care of. Uh, again, how do you demonstrate confidentiality, conformance with confidentiality? First is policies, procedures, uh, processes, training material, right? As it applies to internal audit activity and organization. If you are coming to internal audit ke policy procedure, mein, then you can demonstrate. That is one aspect that you can demonstrate. Look, we are aware of what is confidentiality. Our people are aware. Our policies, procedures clear tell our internal audit members, uh, department members, how they should deal with data. Okay. With respect to release of engagement results, the CA demonstrate conformance with confidentiality principles and rules of conduct by documenting and retaining records of disclosure approved by legal counsel, if applicable, and by senior management and the board. So, if you release the engagement results outside, then did you? take into consideration confidentiality, how will you demonstrate it? You will show that, look, we count, we counseled with the legal department before sending out these reports or sharing this information. Here are the minutes or here is the communication. Here is the approval from legal, right? Engagement record confidentiality, kaise karoge? Through by documenting distribution restriction in engagement work papers and reports and by retaining authorization of all disclosures and approved distribution list. So my policies and procedures can clearly say ki yaar memo kisko kisko jana hai, report who all should receive. If I send something incorrectly to someone, then what are the procedures? Whom should I report to? Right? Um, uh, where we are saving our work papers, who has got access to it, are we reviewing the access to that um, shared drive where we are storing all our audit-related work papers. So when you demonstrate, when the department demonstrates all of these things, you can they can demonstrate that they are making sure that they are in conformance with confidentiality. And finally, given there are no reports or investigation of individual auditor violation of policies, procedures, rules related to confidentiality, means as a whole, the internal audit department has complied. Agar if there is no violation, kisi ne kisi ko kuch nahi bola and there is no report ki yaar nahi confidentiality violate ho gaya, that's an indication that things are going fine. Okay? I mean, are you able to relate to it? See, for me, even when I'm speaking, I can actually visualize it because I do this day in and day out. But I'm trying to make it as, uh, um, as relatable as possible for you guys. Okay. So I want to know whether it is making sense to you also or not. Yeah, I don't know what I'm data saved, what is he talking about? What data is he talking about? Yeah. So if uh, if I mean if there are no questions, then I'm assuming there's no feedback for me. But if there is any feedback for me that sir, you're not making sense, or I need more examples, or whatever, right? Then can you please let me know? Yes. Yes, guys. Okay, good. Um, example, which of the following violates the IIA's code of ethics? Investigating a lead sale person's expense reports based on rumors of overstatement. Investigating potential instances of fraud is within the internal auditor's normal responsibility. It's not a violation. Correct? Salesperson ka expense report up dekh rahe ho ki are nahi yaar yahan pe na uh, there is overstatement. Someone probably is claiming a bit more that you're just 
पोटेंशियल इंस्टेंसेस ऑफ फ्रॉड ट्राई करते हो ट्रैक करने का परचेजिंग स्टॉक इन अ टारगेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आफ्टर रीडिंग कंपनी रिपोर्ट दैट इट मे बी अक्वायर्ड यू नो दैट द कंपनी सिटिंग ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ कैश एंड देर इज अ प्रेस रिलीज गोइंग टू हैपन इन फाइव डेज सेइंग दैट वी आर स्काउटिंग फॉर वी आर स्काउटिंग फॉर सम टारगेट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड ओके सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू गो अहेड एंड बाय सर्टन स्टॉक्स दैट इज ऑल्सो यू आर यूज द इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर पर्सनल गेम disclosing confidential information in response to a court order that is not illegal correct to abhi aap char bar ye 10 bar ye padhoge na shall be prudent in the use and protection of information shall not include not use information for any personal gain or in any manner 50 bar bhi aise padhoge usko koi fayda nahi hai until unless you give yourself examples and think ki under this definition whether it's a violation or not क्लियर यस सो अभी यहां पे दिया है कॉन्फिडेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन इज वॉज डिस्कलोज इन रिस्पॉन्स टू अ कोर्ट ऑर्डर ना इट कैन बी अ कॉन्फिडेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन हैड टू बी डिस्कलोज बिकॉज ऑफ अ पुलिस वॉरंट लेट से और कॉन्फिडेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन वॉज डिस्कलोज बिकॉज द रेग्युलेटरी एजेंसी आज फॉर इट राइट समथिंग ऑफ दैट शॉर्ट तो अलग अलग उस तरह का सिचुएशन रहेगा बट अंडरलाइंग आस्पेक्ट क्या है अंडरलाइंग आस्पेक्ट इज दैट यू यू कैन शेयर द इंफॉर्मेशन इन द कोर्स ऑफ योर ड्यूटीज राइट टू सॉरी वेन यू हैव आस्ट बाई आस्ट फॉर इट बाई लॉ दैट इज द अंडरलाइंग principle that you need to follow okay okay any questions so far we move on to competency now ethics mein this is the fourth pillar na ethics mein yes so what is competency competency ethics mein only those services where we have necessary knowledge skills experience right when we are doing this or uh, when we are providing this services which is both assurance as well as consulting services internal audit services is not just internal audit internal audit services is what assurance services and consulting services clear hai ye sabko yes or no when they are talking about the internal auditor shall perform internal audit services kabhi dimag mein khali aisa internal audit aata hai na ki ha main audit karti hu ya karta hu right ये लोग उसकी बात कर रहे हैं आई एम सेइंग इट्स नॉट जस्ट दैट यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग कंसल्टिंग सर्विसेज आल्सो दैट आल्सो फॉल्स अंडर इट आप जो रेगुलर ऑडिट्स करते हो दैट इज एन अश्योरेंस प्रोजेक्ट सो यू हैव अश्योरेंस सर्विसेज एंड यू हैव कंसल्टिंग सर्विसेज अश्योरेंस सर्विसेज कंसल्टिंग सर्विसेज मेक इट इंटरनल ऑडिट सर्विसेज क्लियर है तो वेर एवर दे आर सेइंग शल परफॉर्म इंटरनल ऑडिट सर्विसेज तभी यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट वॉट एवर दे आर सेइंग नेक्स्ट आल्सो अप्लाइज टू कंसल्टिंग सर्विसेज ठीक है ठीक है ना यू हैव टू बी वेरी प्रिसाइज विद द यूज ऑफ वर्ड्स हियर हाँ डोंट लाइक डोंट यूज हाँ इंटरनल ऑडिट सर्विसेज इंटरनल ऑडिट अश्योरेंस सेम थिंग नो internal audit services consist of assurance and consulting both clear can i get a thumbs up yeah okay um uh, finally continually improve proficiency and effectiveness and quality of their services 
इम्प्रूव क्या प्रोफिशियंसी इफेक्टिवनेस क्वालिटी प्रोफिशियंसी मीन्स क्या एक्सपर्टीज हाउ स्किलफुली कैन यू डू समथिंग इफेक्टिवनेस मीन्स वॉट वर यू एबल टू अचीव द ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट इज इफेक्टिवनेस वर यू इफेक्टिव एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ द सर्विसेस इज वॉट इज द क्वालिटी यू आर एबल टू अचीव द ऑब्जेक्टिव बट डिड यू मेंटेन द क्वालिटी ऑफ द वर्क राइट दैट इज सो आर यू कॉन्स्टेंटली इम्प्रूविंग प्रोफिशियंसी इफेक्टिवनेस एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ योर सर्विसेस सो दैट इज द रूल ऑफ कॉम्पिटेंसी ना इसमें सीधा उन्होंने वहीं पे चालू कर दिया कंफर्मेंस विथ कॉम्पिटेंसी कैसे डॉक्यूमेंट डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करेंगे The CA may demonstrate culture supportive of competency and continual improvement. To what, by jitne bhi mere engagements hai, they have been properly resourced. Means there are enough people, and they are being supervised. Now imagine a situation, jaha pe procurement audit jo hai, we require five people, but the auditor says, uh, but the head of audit says, nahi yaar, three jan koi karna padega, three jan hi karo. जो होता है कंसल्टिंग फॉर्म में होता है ना ये होता है कि नहीं होता है तीन महीने का काम पंद्रह दिन में करके आते हैं ना हम लोग राइट सो योर एंगेजमेंट हैव नॉट बीन प्रॉपरली रिसोर्स मैनेजर कब आता है वन डे बिफोर द टू डेज बिफोर द ऑडिट कमिटी पार्टनर कब भी आता है on the day of the audit committee right which rule of conduct is being violated competency so kal utke koi zyada ding dong kare office mein theek hai partner bhi zyada chilla hai are kya kiya tumne kuch kiya nahi ye nahi kiya wo nahi kiya to bill phad dena manager ka aur partner ka dono ka right you can talk about this rule of conduct you should say the engagements have not been properly resourced and supervised we are in violation of the rule of uh, we are in violation of the of ethics right the rule of conduct with respect to competency is not being followed तो ऐसा एकदम यहां से ना पार्टनर इधर आ जाएगा बोलेगा बॉस अभी थोड़ा सोच समझ के बात करना पड़ेगा इसके साथ ओके लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू विल सी एज वी गो अलोंग ना यू विल रियलाइज कि अरे यार हाँ यार ये तो हम लोग करते ही नहीं है रियल लाइफ में अरे हाँ यार ये तो सोचा ही नहीं वो तो इन साल सप्लाई चेन का ऑडिट कर दिया किसी को एक्सपीरियंस ही नहीं था मैनेजर को भी नहीं आता है ऐसा दिमाग में आया कि नहीं किसी के कि नहीं है हा यस और नो एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू शेयर वन पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू शेयर एन एक्सपीरियंस लाइक इट यू डोंट नीड टू नेम द पर्सन बट यू कैन जस्ट शेयर विद मी दैट अंकुर वेन वी वर लर्निंग दिस दिस इज वॉट केम इन माई माइंड एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू शेयर मैं ही बोल बोल के मैं थक गया अभी ढाई घंटे से बात कर रहा हूँ Ifra, do you have an example to share? I mean, uh, certainly, Ankur. Um, I mean, I'm not part of uh, core internal audit team, but I, I mean, the work that I do is basically compliance reviews, and uh, the the program that we handle is uh, quality performance. So we yeah. have uh, uh, a thing called uh, compliance as well as quality. Like it's a combination of both. So hmm. when we say competency, so basically, from a quality standpoint, we are hmm. not giving. Hmm. anybody that work like if if we are doing any work really as in if we are reviewing let's say finance transformation so yeah a partner from a transform uh, tra uh, finance transformation so what, in order to do or in order to check the quality we are having a peer review who is mm. more you know um, um yeah connected to the business who knows what is happening in the field so we mm. pick them to do that certain review so i think that's a Got conscious it. thing that the policy is being followed here and i think for mm -hmm. compliance because the way look mm -hmm. we look at it like the factual thing the setup and yeah. all of that i think that is something you can train somebody like 
um, yeah. by giving them training the and so couple of things first of all everyone so ifra is part of the compliance team compliance and quality it is the second line of defense to wo jab hum aage padhenge tab pata chala she is not the third line of defense all internal auditors are third line of defense ifra is second line of defense correct ifra yes correct right the second thing is she gave an example of what they take care of but i wanted to have a i wanted to get an entertaining example of things which you don't do which are uh, which you are supposed to do as per standard so thanks for sharing but i'll also invite someone else to share something which they are doing which is not as per the standard that's the second thing the third thing is um, what was the third thing Yeah, those were the two things actually. Ha, huh, Raja, bolo. Ah, no, no, sorry. One second, ah, Raja. Ifra, the third thing which uh, I had was uh, I'm happy that you talked about finance transformation and the fact that you are involved in that review. Ah, uh, can we connect offline? Yes, sure. Yeah, because uh, I. there's a financial transformation happening in the company where for which i work uh and i just want to just exchange notes with you to understand how you went about it okay okay i, I certainly can try probably, yeah yeah i mean just exchange ideas as to what you do i'll just drop my number here uh just in case you guys don't have it ओके यस राजा बोलो फ्रॉमिंग uh for mm. uh, you know various things okay now in terms of a guest auditor okay do for example suppose i do the you know support service audit or the hr audit kind of thing now i have my previous experience in financial market as well so when i update my skill register and so when there is a requirement of a you know extra auditor for extra man days so they can check that skill register and based on that my availability they can you know allocate that audit to me so in mm. terms of competency is what you are saying so do you do you really uh, i mean practically it happens that uh, i mean uh, without the proper skill set any audit has been allocated to any particular auditor because i haven't come across that जॉब डन यू ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू विन अ जॉब तो इवन इफ यू डोंट हैव कॉम्पिटेंसी यू पिच फॉर इट एंड यू से कि अरे बाद में किसी को लेके आ जाएंगे राइट फिर वो आता नहीं है फिर जो पांच जन का काम है वो दो जन जाके कर रहे हैं जैसे तैसे जाके कर रहे हैं राइट सो दैट हैपन सो सो दैट इज वॉट दैट इज बेसिकली एंगेजमेंट हैव नॉट बीन प्रॉपरली रिसोर्स एंड सुपरवाइज ये तो वही हो गया ना बिकॉज तुम्हारा ये कॉम्पिटेंसी का रूल जो है वो ब्रेक हो रहा है ना डिफेंस सो Mm-hmm. in a in a functional role of an internal auditor um what we've what i've seen in my experience is that there when certain audits are like quarter 1 the audits are 
you know properly planned out and and all of that right mm-hmm. they think about it mm-hmm. second quarter maybe yeah. it'll be nicely planned resourced and supervised whatever it is by the time yeah. it gets to third quarter and fourth quarter because you know mm-hmm. of course there are so many other engagements that that get added on and consulting mm-hmm. firms like there are some uh, <laughs> audit engagements where we need to have consulting firms uh, resources added what i have observed mm-hmm. is during those engagements right either mm-hmm. the the um, the audit director has not really clearly explained or articulated what the requirements are which which mm. i'm i'm associating back to this engagements have been properly uh, resourced or supervised yeah. because uh, a, and how that manifests in my how that has manifested at least in my experience is that you will see a quick rush to get stuff done and hmm. the people who are high, who have been empaneled or have been added on as resources are just doing a okay it's a checklist job i'll i'll do it and go but yeah. once they are gone you know we who are still internal auditors with with the firm right yeah. we have to go hmm. and explain out what they have done because let's say we are auditor in charge or whatever for that audit it becomes hmm hard to go back and re- review even though a yeah. senior audit manager has signed off on that work right so then it mm. calls into question mm. what did you as a senior audit manager do did was your mm. review was your review objective did you yeah. arrive at the same conclusion or not so that's how i'm connecting it back to the examples that that you have yeah. that you've yeah. spoken about yeah now. so see when when a regulator comes in and then they like for example under qaip right there's an external review which needs to be done every five years of the internal audit department. So external auditor Ayaga, when he will go through this and he he goes, he or she goes through that level of detail and says, Ki, yaar, tum log staff bara bara nahi kar rahe ho, then you are rushing, your work papers are not in order. Ye wo. Then they may comment on this. Engagements have not been properly resourced and supervised. Right? Okay. Um, yes, Anvish. Hey, hi, Ankur. Uh, most probably, Richa is covered. I'm part of second line defense where I'm part of internal controls as a compliance manager. So we mm-hmm. do also have the situation wherein when the operating effectiveness test happens for the controls, especially for the key controls, our mm-hmm. IA team has outsourced it to one of the big fours. So obviously, okay. we face these challenges where they document all the testing procedures and and mm-hmm. our IA, doc, uh, as you said, they sign it. But when the external auditors come and they rely on the audit, which has been done by the uh, mm-hmm. on operating perspective, they take it as a reliance point of view. So when they review mm-hmm. those documents, obviously they come back with a certain kind of questions like how well you were perfect that the audit went fine. So they mm-hmm. question us on the documentation, which has been provided by our outsourced people. Mm-hmm. So, we face these challenges and again, we have to end up doing the audit once again so that things are in place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you you are right. So so those kind of things happen in real life, right? And uh, so any internal audit activity, maybe the big four, any other form who is acting as an internal auditor or the internal audit department of a company, they need to demonstrate that they have properly resourced and supervised. And how will they do it? Proper resourcing and supervision will be through the audit plans, through the scheduling calendars, through the supervisory notes, how those supervisory notes have been addressed, right? All of those uh, details. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> feedback has been solicited from internal audit stakeholders sufficiently considered. So, go to senior management, do a survey, get that satisfaction, client satisfaction survey, right? Performance reviews regularly, QAIP, right? Internal QAIP, then external QAIP opportunities for training mentoring professional and professional education have been provided qaip is active internal audit services are performed 
इन कन्फर्मेंस विद द आई पी पी एफ मैंडेटरी गाइडेंस मैंडेटरी गाइडेंस में क्या आ गया स्टैंडर्ड आ गया इंटरनल ऑडिट डेफिनेशन आ गया कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट आ गया राइट वट एल्स स्टैंडर्ड्स कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट इंटरनल ऑडिट डेफिनेशन वट एल्स कोर प्रिंसिपल्स कोर प्रिंसिपल्स सो दो फोर थिंग्स हैव बीन If you can demonstrate that yes, yeah, yes, my internal audit services have been done as per this, then you are in uh, conformance with the competence principle. Okay. <coughs> Now, knowledge, skills, and experience of individual auditor. वो कैसे evidence करोगे? You can evidence that through their qualification. Like, look. This person is a CPA, is a CFE, is a CIA, is a CSA, right? So that is one thing. Second is they have got these many years of experience, relevant experience, as detailed on the internal auditor's resume. So that is why in our, in case of our department, we have a section within our system where we have CVs of all the people. Then we also have a table which shows that. Here are the people that we have. Here are the number of experience, uh, number of years of experience that they have, right? Here are their competencies. Here are their qualifications. So we maintain that kind of a repository, which we can show to regulators also. That look, we are properly resourced and uh, uh, qualified. to do the audits properly right and competent enough basically uh internal auditors may maintain documentation of a skills self assessment a plan for professional development and completion of cpe so this is another thing that we maintain that okay from a cpe hours how many hours has each person completed right from a skills assessment perspective so the institute of internal auditors uh oh yeah yes that's the skill register um from a institute perspective for each of the levels they have defined ki kya competencies honi chahiye there are these four levels that have been defined um uh, by the institute just a moment let me just uh, uh yeah ah yeah <laughs> i'm sharing my screen Can you see this? Yes. Yeah. Now you can see here the Internal Audit Foundation has done a global survey of internal audit competency framework. Okay. So I believe they will. This is the Internal Audit Competency Framework: Professionalism, Performance, Environment, Leadership, and Communication. okay and then for each of these there is a rating scale and all of that so basically depending on the levels like a director probably needs to be 4 out of 5 or 5 out of 5 or a ca needs to be 5 out of 5 on these aspects so there is a competency framework also which is there which has been issued by the iiif so <clears throat> so the internal auditors may maintain documentation of skill self assessment a plan for professional development so bhai as per the internal audit uh, competency framework where am i where am i supposed to be how do i if i am here and if i need to move to this level how do i fill that gap here is the plan to fill that gap right 
So that can also be used as documentation to show that, look, we are serious about competency. And here is the way we are going about this. To expand their competencies, internal auditors may provide evidence of experiences undertaken. Yaar, uh, from an IT standpoint, I don't have much competencies. Okay, I'm pursuing CISA. I have taken up these courses, things like that. <clears throat> or specific work assignments. I've started helping out on ITGC audits, let's say. And then pursuing completing, completing professional education that further evidences our commitment to continual improvement. Okay, now an example. Which of the following violates the IIA's code of ethics? After obtaining evidence that an employee is embezzling funds, the internal auditor interrogates the suspect. The organization has a security department. So, kya hua? Tumhare paas evidence aya that employee has stolen. So, you decide to investigate him. Despite the company having a security department. Is it your competency to investigate and uh, interrogate, basically? Not investigate, interrogate. No. You don't have that competency to interrogate, right? So, they generally lack the knowledge, skills and experience regarding interrogation. Security department, security department has capacity to interrogate. Ek ek word ka bahut important meaning ha? investigate, interrogate, not the same thing. Interrogate is basically taking someone into a room and asking very pointed questions in a threatening manner, right? That is an interrogation. You are not, you are not uh, competent to do that. So you lack the proficiency. So that means there is a violation of the code of ethics. And which particular rule? Competency. <clears throat> Internal auditor has been assigned to perform an engagement in the warehousing department next year. See, important SRA words. The auditor currently has no expertise in this area, but accepted the assignment and plans to take continuing professional education courses in warehousing. Is this a violation? And this is most likely not a violation. Why? Because it is pura one year. Hai before that engagement comes into picture. This internal auditor is an auditor. That means he knows how to audit. He's got some basic skills. With respect to warehousing, he's got one year to arm himself with enough information, knowledge, skills to be able to do a warehousing audit, right? The internal auditor plans to acquire the required knowledge and skills prior to the start of this engagement. The internal auditor most likely did not widely violate the code of ethics most likely from whatever information has been provided as against that the cyber security audit is going to start in uh, the next 20 days the internal auditor does not have the competency or is not done any it audits is there a violation the answer is yes most likely it is a violation clear yes or no Okay. Haan, bolo, so, since we are not, I mean, we are not yet qualified of the IA, but uh, I do also uh, handle a tool which is SOCSUB, where we get some trainings as CPA credits point of view. Can we mm -hmm. participate in that at least for a knowledge point of view? I didn't get your question. Okay. So you are the... not a you are not an IIA. You yeah. still do get CPE. I uh, mean, because if you are not then IIA to CP to milega, but oh, CP ka tum kuch kar nahi sakte na. Yeah. But at and least can for you future participate perspective. from knowledge perspective, of course you can participate. You should participate. Why not? Okay. Okay. Theek hai? With that, I call it a day. Enjoy your weekend, but study hard. Uh, both interesting hai. To be honest, I don't know how interesting you guys find it. I find it very interesting. Uh, otherwise, standards are very dry. On your own, tum padoge na aise hi standards without discussing it like this. Kuch hoye matlab hi nahi hai. Maza hi nahi aayega. Kya hai? Kya hai? Pata nahi kya bola hai. Competency. Have adequate skills. 
prudent in the use and protection of information. It is so dry without the context. Okay. So, okay. Great. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Ankur. All Thank you so much. Have a great Thank weekend. Thank you, Ankur. You as well. Do have a, have a good day. If you have Everybody. any feedback, please let me know. Okay. Ciao. See ya.